it's very hard to know where we're coming from and the things that we used to do as students and the rules, the regulations and the professionalism that we hold for nursing. And then when you come here to Canada, you have to deal with all these. I'm like, you know, after that, after, you know, that incident and, you know, other incidents, more incidents, I'm like, you know what? I need a plan B. Being a nurse is hard. It's challenging. It is rewarding. It is time consuming. It is a lot. And you know what? It is even harder, more challenging if you are an internationally educated nurse here in Canada. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about why it is so hard for internationally trained nurses here in Canada. Let's jump right into it. But before we even jump into it, are you subscribed to my channel? If you're new to me, hey, I'm Yashika Turner. And on this channel, I create content for you who are restarting, relocating, and hitting the reset button here in Canada. Let's jump right into it. Now, I moved to Canada from Jamaica as a Jamaican trained nurse, still working as a nurse here in Canada but I'm also a realtor here, so I can help you with your buying, your selling, renting, and all that good stuff. But let me tell you, it is already stressful. It is already challenging while in the process of relocating and restarting life as a foreign trained nurse, going through, you know, everything, getting all your ducks lined up, getting your ducks in rows, right? And then now at that time when you are ready now to transition and fall in line into your career, that's another stressful situation. Let me tell you why. Number one, the education, the training, the relearning of all the things that you have learned. Yes, even after you know you pass the exam, you do an NCLEX and you pass the exam. But that is just the theory. When it's time for you to go out there into the hospitals, into the clinic, into the long-term care community, it is a whole new ball game. You have to relearn things. You have medications, equipment that you haven't seen in your home country. No, you have to get hands-on dealing with those which leads to higher level of stress while you are already mentally and emotionally drained throughout your period of relocation. I did a previous video on the differences between Jamaica nurses and Canadian nurses. Difference with nursing in Jamaica versus Canada. So if you haven't yet seen that video, I would advise for you to go ahead and watch it after watching this one, of course, right? Number two is getting used to the long work hours. Not only the long work hours, yes, I know we work weekends and holidays, back home but when you move here and if you move here as a single mom with kids you have no partner that is even more challenging to fall in line with because you might be used to working eight hours back home and here when you come to canada it's 12 hours 12 hour shifts night shift let me tell you something. Yesterday was not that's 12 hours night shift. Oh my goodness. I could never get used to them. Even now, if I was to go back right now, I work Monday to Friday, 8 to 4, 8 30 to 4 30, right? So I get weekends and holidays off. But when I just came as a single mom, nurse working as a nurse, I work 8 a.m. to 8 p.m which means I had to find before and after childcare for my daughter. So why nursing is hard? The work-life balance, which is a lot. Trying to figure out your way, your life, the new lifestyle, trying to get adjusted to this new lifestyle here in Canada, and then trying to figure out your way at work, <laughs> trying to get you know used to the medications, used to the equipment, used to the patients and the staff, not to mention their family members, right? So trying to balance that work life and trying to balance your life outside of work is challenging and is mentally, mentally challenging and stressful. 
And you know what? Ah, the other thing, the stress that is involved in being a nurse on the floor. Again, this all depends on the different unit, the different areas of nursing. But in med surge, huh, in palliative, in mental health, I work in mental health, I'm a mental health nurse, it is stressful, going, going, going. And right now, nursing, it is short staff. There's a shortage of nurses here in Canada, which leads to more burnout because you're trying to adjust, you're trying to save up as much money as you can, so you're going to fall in line and accept that overtime shift so you can, you know, balance off your finances but the stress that comes with it, you wonder sometimes if it really worth it. If this money even worth the stress and the headache that you will have being physically implications that it comes with, right? So you have to weigh your pros and your cons, but it is not easy. It's not easy. And last but not least is the culture. Culture in nursing here is very different. And that is one of the most challenging things that you have to adjust to. Sadly, but truthfully, you have to adjust to it. There are several different races, several different nationalities here in Canada. So you have to get used to the culture of not only the staff, but the culture of the patients and their families. There are different cultures, different traditions, different norms, different values, and you have to maintain respect, maintain professionalism, and to be non-judgmental in all of this. <laughs> so even when you're struggling with trying to keep up with your lifestyle of adjusting to your life outside of nursing, you have to put on that face and put on that demeanor of maintaining professionalism right because if not they're going to report you and they even might go above and report you to the college so you have to walk on thin lines here in canada as a nurse and i spoke about that also in my other video you can check it out as i said after you finish watching this one yes but it is it is a lot and Another thing with the culture, we have to be very careful of the way we speak or our action or body language and our verbal communication. You know that language that we have as black people, right? As our skin tone people, we have to be careful of our tone because sometimes the way we speak and our tone can mean to these other people with their other culture as us being aggressive or us being too strong or too dominant. As a result, we are reported, <laughs> they, they will go ahead and report you. Even adding more stress on top of the stress we have. So you have to now learn how to train your voice, to train yourself of not coming off too strong and not coming off as being aggressive to your coworkers and to your staff. Yes, the staff, the <laughs> staff them too. You have to be, it's like, it's like walking on thin lines because every little thing you say, the culture here, there's, I, I don't know, it's, it's like you're walking on eggshells. So you have to be, you have to think before you talk. That's the thing. Think before you speak, right? And try not to come off as too strong as all we would speak to our own colleague or our own culture back home. These are from my African sisters too. I know at times they come on so strong and, and confident. I, Canadians, I don't think they like this confident thing that we, that we come, especially this new nurse. It's a new nurse, new age generation gap, I find. I'm an old school nurse. So if you are old school nurse in like over 10 years nursing, you're going to find it even more challenging for the new age nurses here right now. I find um, back when we, in our time of nursing, nursing school, it was very strict. 
and there was more professionalism in the nursing profession. The way you dress, the way you speak, you know, the all you do your hair and all that stuff. But when you come here, when you see how they dress, you see how they talk, and this, you see, it's a whole different world. It's a whole different level. And after a while, you're going to feel like, um, is nursing really for me? Is this where I really want to be? Because of the challenges that comes with it, especially the cultural challenges. I remember, I am not sure if I spoke about this in my previous video, but I remember um, doing preceptorship for a student, right? And she came in a little skimpy, tight, tight, leggings and t-shirt. And the shirt was like waist high. It didn't cover down below, you know? And you know, us old school nurses who train in Jamaica, you know, when you're going out for a clinical, you have to be properly attired from your head to your toe. You have to wear your nursing hat. You have to wear your stocking. Your shoes are feel white like a pillowkin. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Drop it in the comment. Let me know which nursing school you went to. And it was a shocker for me to see all the way she attired to come for a clinical. So I was like, so when I, I had to pull her to the side, I think I pull her, you know, and I said to her, you're not properly attired. You know, this is a psych institution. And what if a patient pass and hit you on your bum? Or maybe me I think like Jamaican man, Sata, you know, them just <laughs> out of them place, right? So for us, we dress very cautious. Um, yeah, so I said to her, you know, your tire, you know, I would dress, you know, look a little more, you know, cover up yourself or whatever. Look more professional, you know, less than like you got jogging out the road. And you know what? A couple of days after, she uh, uh, um, she reported me, and I heard that she said I made her cry, cry for pulling her to the side and telling her that what she was wearing wasn't professional enough to come to the clinic. Um, no, to come on the floor, right? Being trained, being a student, and I'm like, you know what? I can't deal with this. I think that was the last student I preceptored because it was very challenging. It's very hard to know where we're coming from and the things that we used to do as students and the rules, the regulations and the professionalism that we hold for nursing. And then when you come here to Canada, you have to deal with all these. I'm like, you know, after that, after, you know, that incident and, you know, other incidents, more incidents, I'm like, you know what? I need a plan B. So if you're new, you're just landing here as a newcomer, a new foreign trained nurse here in Canada, there will be challenges that you have to go through. But you have the opportunity to create options. I think I'm going to do another video on how to monetize your skills and your expertise. If you're interested in that video, let me know in the comments to make life a little more bit more easier so you can start planning ahead of time, right? Make your life easier. Nursing is already stressful. Life is already stressful. Relocation is already stressful. So you need less stress. You need to transition with ease. It's a new life, new beginning. You don't need to settle and live in survival mode. No, no. It's time to thrive. And on this channel, we're all thriving. If you haven't yet subscribed, hit the subscription button and be a part of the thriving family. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for my next video. Bye for now.